Commissioner of Mother England. How are you feeling, Andrew? Feeling yeah, lucky? Tip top, tip top. How are you feeling, Dan? I'm feeling very well. The six target species for this competition are cod, mullet, flatfish, pollock, black brim, and because of the bass ban, gilt head brim. What are the chances of finding a gilt head? Average. Uh, slim. Slim to none? Hmm. Yeah, there's no fish here. Competitors can dive absolutely anywhere in the UK. They just have to be back for the weigh-in at 4 p.m. at the Pulpit Inn on Portland Bill. Getting ready for this day of torture with this camera in my fucking face, but hey. We're diving out of Portland because it gives us the best chance at all six species and the most amount of time. We're just here on a sand line looking for some flatfish before we head out a bit wider looking for cod and pollock. Andy's got a nice mullet, so Nice slow start to the day. Hopefully some more fish to come. Oh, what do you got for us, mate? The halibut! Halibut! Kind of. <laughs> that's a nice, that's a nice place, mate. All right, bloody in there. All right. It's a halibut. Like all sea bass for 2018, this one's going away unscathed. The current was still screaming along the bottom here, which made it nearly impossible to even consider shooting a fish. I was lucky to find this tasty crab while I was getting tumbleweeded across the bottom. One of the great local divers here, Kevin Hanger, knew exactly where to find the fish at this time of day. Check out all these bass. Next stop was Chesil Beach. What's that for, mate? <laughs> As you can see, we take this competition diving very, very seriously. Right. That's what we do when we forget to fill the boat up during a comp. Fill up halfway through. It's morning snack. Healthy, high protein, low snack fat time. snack. Don't eat the row? No, you can eat the row. Are they always rowed up? Most of the time they're rowed up, eh? But I, you eating it raw might not be the best thing. There you go. So that's a scallop. There you go. You couldn't get any bananas at M&S, so... Bananas tasty. on a boat? Yeah, tasty, low-fat, uh, high-protein scallop, mate. Yeah. Just straight up. Yeah, straight up. Like sugary. It's like eating a bit of sugared crab. Super sweet. Real sweet. Yeah, that's all right. We'll do. Do you want another one? Nah, I'm right for now. <laughs> <laughs> After refueling the boat, we were back out to dive the bill. The current was still running and the black brim were way too smart for me, but that's the great thing about diving a pairs competition. Just get Andrew to shoot the fish. Oh, I could have had a 10 pound bass. Really? It was eating the flopper. Was it? <laughs> the bass was my day. I couldn't get her out, rid of it. She's a nice brim you got, mate. Are oh, you stoked on that, Andy? Oh, fuck, it's stoked. I had to shoot something in this competition, so as the current slowed up while looking for cod, I found a stray pollock. One of the competitors' boats had broken down, but there was no hesitation from the other club members to stop fishing and tow them in. Well, that's what friends do. 
So no more fishing for us and it's uh, 1.30, which is not very good. But anyway, it's the right thing to do. There was only about half an hour of slack tide, so the current had already started to pick up again. But I found this shoal of bass with a heap of black brim sitting under them. Unfortunately, with current and a 110 spear gun, it's not easy to aim. We had four species and the current was too strong to fish the bottom, so Andrew and Ricky took me to find my first tasty, tasty scallops. With the dozen scallops I'd just collected, I needed Andrew to give me a proper lesson on how to shuck these things. Nearly four o'clock and the boats were still coming in, along with some impressive catches. Yeah, just run along the bottom. Run along the bottom? Yeah. Awesome. How to do a scallop Andrew Gom style. <laughs> well, you, you, you take off from, the, from that one so you don't leave heaps of shit on there. There we go. Done that before, haven't you? Yeah. What do you reckon of that? Amazing! Wow! So good. It's huge. Mm. Mm. You know, How has that affected your competition today? Not having bass on the score sheet. Endlessly. Yeah. If I, get, I don't know. I've never seen so many fish and shot so few. Yeah. It's, uh, I've seen thousands and thousands of bass today. They just come up to you and say hi. They know you're not allowed to shoot them, so they're just, you know, being all friendly, like little puppy dogs. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. With Kevin on the scales and Ross behind the laptop, the weighing was smooth and fast, as usual. That's a good one, 1.375. And a bream? Yeah, it was good condition. It's tough diving because there wasn't a lot of fish around. Uh, but not, not ones that you're allowed to shoot anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and um, but yeah, there, there was fish and it was good conditions and the water is quite warm, so it, it was enjoyable diving, very enjoyable. I like in particular to, to say a big thank you to our sponsors who have been with us for many years, um, old ones and new ones, and particularly starting with the, the Pulpit Inn, uh, who basically hosted us here, and that, that's really kind of them, and it's a it's a key partner for for the event. And also we had the lovely prizes. You can see some of them around me. Uh, from a number of uh, sponsors in the UK and abroad, uh, in particular Dennis Diving from Middlesbrough, uh, Seagull from Italy and Paolo Sub from Italy as well. Uh, all three here in, from Portland, um, Ocean Sports from Panther One in Cornwall and, uh, and Roy Sub thanks to Kevin uh, here also in, uh, in Portland. Let's start with, uh, first of all, we'll start from team number five, Ross and Kevin. <laughs> unusual, very unusual. What do uh, Dave and Dan Bailey. <laughs> Jedro and Charles. <laughs> In second position, Daniel and Andrew. Winning team this year with uh, four species, 237 points, Gary and Garben. Yes! <laughs> With the weigh-in done and the prizes won, it was time for the best part of this competition, the food. <laughs> See you next year. Support the companies that support us. Links are in the description. How was today, Gary? There was no bass on the score sheet. Did that change your game plan at all? Or did you just... Lot. It was challenging. It was challenging. It was challenging. Anything else to add apart from challenging, but you rose to the challenge and... 
Well, clearly I did. I won. <laughs> <laughs>